everybody! Welcome! My name is Phoenix and this is my little brother Zephyr. Hi. And today we're going to be reviewing the Gyroar H40 electric scooter. At least I think that's how you pronounce it. And you can find this on Amazon and their website and I'll provide the links down below. Okay, first let's put this thing together. So obviously it comes with some pieces like these Allen wrenches, the charging cord, and the instructions manual, and obviously the main part of the scooter with some assembly required. First thing you do is attach this to this by screwing these things off, and then you slide this in and then screw them back on. Ta-da! Just like this. Next thing you need to do is slide this onto this and then tighten these three screws with your Allen wrench. Ta-da! Now it's time to adjust the height. There are three different settings and for someone small like Zephyr, you're probably gonna want the lowest one, but for someone tall like me, you're probably gonna want the highest one. And I'll show you how to do that. First, you're gonna wanna open up this clamp. Then you're gonna wanna hold firm here and lift up until you hear that click, which means it's locked into place. And then you're gonna wanna close the clamp back up so it stays nice and secure. Okay, now let's take this baby for a test drive. First thing you need to know is that there is a kickstand and it works pretty well. Next thing you need to know is that there's a foot brake like most scooters and all you need to do is put pressure on the back so it'll clamp down on the wheel. And there's a hand brake and all you need to do to use it is just press down. This is your throttle and it's what makes you go faster. But before you can use it, you need to be going at least a couple miles an hour. And in order to use it, all you have to do is press down like this. So when you get the scooter, it will be off. And in order to turn it on, all you have to do is press these two down for two seconds, like this. And then the screen over here will turn on. And that's how you know it's on. So it starts in kilometers per hour, but in order to change it to miles per hour, all you have to do is press this button three times fast, like this. And then it'll change and same thing to change it back. So there are two gears, D1 and D2. D1 is slower and D2 is faster, and this is how you can change them. You just hit this button two times fast, like this. And right now, I'm in D1, and then to change to D2, you do the same thing. It also comes with lights. So these lights, these colorful ones, they kind of just stay on and change randomly. Um, as long as the scooter's on. But there are also these other lights, these tail lights right here, and there's also a front light right here, and you can turn them on by just pressing the throttle button once, like this. And then they should be on. Let's go! to mention was the charging import right here and it opens up like this um, and what I like about this is that it's low to the ground so it should be closer to your outlet but again the charging cord is still pretty small um, but all you do is just put this in here like that and then plug this into an outlet it's pretty easy so yeah, overall, I thought that the Gyroar H40 electric scooter was pretty good. I like that it had a handbrake and a bell. I also like how it's pretty fast and the kickstand is also pretty nice. Also, I like the head and tail lights because it helps you see better at night. What do you think, Zephyr? Well, I like the handbrake and the bell. 